Now, coming to the very good project of the Guild President of contributing for the needed students, I will put in 80 million shillings. So that means I remain with a banja of 50. Thank you, thank you very much. And I thank the students of Mukono for supporting NRM. Now, on the issue of taxing universities, uh, why, why, why tax universities? Surely that one we can, uh, and, and even the secondary schools, schools, especially, I don't think taxing education institutions is, is a good idea. Let them use the money to, do, to, 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 do, to develop the science. Yes. Mm. We, are, we are colonized, not because we didn't have singers. We, we had singers. We had poets, people who, who could make a tone to me. We had Bakatemba, uh, a boxer servant. All those fellows we had, we had kings and princes and princesses and queens and all those. But we lagged behind, we were colonized because of lagging behind in science. That's where the problem was. It's not because we were not Bazira that we couldn't fight, we were not brave, no. It was because we lagged behind in science and technology. And that's where the historical gap is. So I'm very happy to hear that you are, you, you, you are taking that issue seriously. And I, when I go back, I will see how, although it's a private university, but when you come to, to science, if we can, we can support you. <laughs> Just as we supported uh, the Islamic University, of, of Mbari. I think even in Deji, at one time Deji was talking about something. Huh? Even Kumi. Okay. So really when you talk of science laboratory, there are, you are, you are, we are, we are totally aligned. Huh? Now, on the issue of, 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 the, of the road, I totally agree. I don't know whether we can make it to go all the way to where the chairman wanted to go. <laughs> but, but in Angkor in the past, when, when water was still a problem, even if, even if you don't have enough water, at least you wash your face. <laughs> Other parts of the body, even if you... So, when I was coming here, the, the face was not, uh, was not good. Because it, 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 is, it is part of publicizing your university. For somebody to come on a good road and, and branch in, It 
what happens afterwards, that's another story. You can... <laughs> when you are making a and will you clear the lunch? They say when you are making alarm for food, you make a smaller one. <laughs> so, so that many people don't hear and, and come and overwhelm. But when you are making alarm for war, you make a big one so that more, more people come to help you. Now, with education and with health, the government, the NRM government, decided to make a big alarm. Gwanga Mujie, Gwanga Mujie, all of you, Sagara Agaramide, all of you come and help. Come and help on the, on the, on the task of education. Come and help on the task of health, and you have responded. So when I hear that uh, Mukono University has 13,000 students, in 1986, the only university in Uganda, Makirira, had only 5,000. Now, Mukono here alone has got 13,000. So I thank you so much. And it's good that you're also getting the message, the message of, of teaching science. That's why you are asking about the, the, the laboratory. You know, Africans, the other day I made a long speech in the National Conference of the NRM, and it would be printed out. And in that speech, I pointed out that the main reason why Africa lagged behind for the last, for the last uh, 600 years, we, Africa has missed the historical bus. The bus of history was moving, and Africa remained on the stage. And, and the, if you go back, Africa took part in all the major scientific inventions. The invention of fire, Omuriro, Africans did it on their own. They were not helped by anybody. Omuriro in Ru is called March. March. The domestication of, 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 of crops, what we call agriculture, that knowledge that you could take seeds from the bush and plant them and control them, was done by us, by Africans on their own. The science of domesticating uh, livestock, we did it on our own. The science of uh, iron, making iron tools, we did it on our own. But the problem came from 1440, when a German man called Gothenburg invented the printing press to, 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 to print books by, by, by machine. In the past, the writing was by hand. But this man invented a printing press in 1440. Then in 1689, another man called Thomas Savory invented the steam engine. Then in 1800, 18 something, another man called Stevenson invented, applied the steam engine to pull the Gary Omuka, the train. So, in those 400 years, other parts of the world shifted from muscle power 
using the hoe, using the panga, Okwekabana Mugongo, Africa Bibera Mu. Muscle power, muscle power, muscle power, muscle power. But from 1440, they started shifting from muscle power to machine power. Ebiuma, Kubabi Ebikole Mirumu. Instead of muscles, human muscles. Or animal muscles. So that's how Africa re remained on the side. Because we remained with muscle power and animal power in some cases, the, the horse and so on, the oxen, while the, 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 the Europe went to machine power. So therefore, the NRM, from the beginning, we told you that you, Banang of Africa, Mulamba, I know, I know. Okulambara, you have slept too much. Wake up. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.